introduction to the sections and directions uh, in anatomical language when referring to body position. First thing we want to establish is what is anatomical position because that is what all sections and directions are derived off of. Anatomical position is standing feet flat facing forward and palms out so that your thumbs go to the outside. That is considered anatomical position. Now we're going to make three sections to define different areas of the body. If I was to take an imaginary knife and divide this body into right and left halves right down the middle, that type of cut would be known as a mid-sagittal cut and therefore is along the mid-sagittal plane. If I move that cut to the left or right in either direction, just off of the center, it's considered a parasagittal section. So if we turn the body sideways a little bit, and we were to take a cut and create a plane coming from the coronal suture, cutting the body into front and back halves, we would have what is known as anterior and posterior sections. Anterior section is referred to as the front. The posterior section is referenced to the back. This is also known as ventral and dorsal. Ventral is the front. Dorsal is the back. If we were to take a plane, a section, straight across the, and dividing the body into upper and lower halves, this is called a transverse section. And that creates an upper half which is known as superior and a lower half which is known as inferior. This is all for the axial skeleton. When we talk about the appendicular skeleton, we use the words proximal and distal. And when we say proximal and distal, we are referring to that limb's point of origin. So the elbow is distal to the shoulder, but it is proximal to the wrist, meaning it is closer to the point of origin, which is the shoulder, than the wrist is. Same thing applies to your legs. My knee is distal to my hip, but my knee is also proximal to my ankle. When you are discussing the midline of the body, again, imagine an imaginary line running right down the middle of the body. If I move things from that midline away, I am moving them laterally. And I'll give you an example. If I have my hand up and I rotate my hand outward away from the midline, it is a lateral rotation. If I rotate it towards the midline of the, bottom, the body, it is considered a medial rotation. So everything going from the body towards the midline is medial. Everything going from the middle towards the outside is considered lateral.